Hi everyone, and the topic for today is coding redundancy. So we have just seen three types of redundancies. Well, first is coding redundancy, then psychovisual, and third is spatiotemporal. So as I said that uh, we just took a brief uh, view of what all they are about. And in this video, we'll be talking about coding redundancy in detail. So before that, there are certain coding definitions we need to know because they'll be used in all the three redundancies. So what are the three coding definitions we need to know? So first is code. Code is nothing but the list of symbols we do have. For example, you, here I have represented 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I have represented them in 3-bit numbers, the 3-bit binary. So here these are the codes. Next is the code word. Code word is nothing but a sequence of symbols which are used to represent the information. Like you use gray levels. So what are gray levels used for? They are used to represent the intensity values. So that is nothing but the sequence of the symbols which you use to represent a particular information. Like here if you see the code word for 0 is triple zero, for 1 is 0, 0, 001. So that is all the code word. And the code word length is nothing but the length of the code word. Like here it is. 3. So here we are using a binary code which is written over here in which the symbols are nothing but 0 or 1. So that is what we are using and these are the code words and the length is 3. So now we are going to start with coding redundancy. So what we talked about in coding redundancy is that generally what we do is we try to represent our numbers or our intensities using a fixed length code right for example if you have 0 to 255 gray levels then you represent all the intensities with 8 bits because uh, you have maximum as 255 and 255 will be represented using 8 bits in which all the bits are 1 so it is 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 so that is how you represent 255 but what we saw is that uh, I gave you example of this picture right here you just have four intensities so rather than using this codes we can use the variable length codes that is what is called coding redundancy so today we are going to look into that so uh, before we do coding redundancy so there are certain terms you need to know about so one is rk rk here denotes the input intensity values right for example you have any value from 0 to 255 that is how you represent rk this is a denotion you need to remember next is lrk so lrk is nothing but the number of bits used to represent rk like as i said for representing 255 you require 8 bits right it's where all 8 bits are 1 to require uh, say supposedly i want to represent 8 so 8 can be represented as 1 0 0 0 so how many bits are used to represent it as 4 so lrk is nothing but the number of bits required to represent rk so the average number of bits required to represent each pixel will be given by l average is equals to summation from 0 to l minus 1 means if it's an 8 bit image so it will be 0 to 255 because total number of levels are 256 so they will go from 0 to 255 uh, lrk into probability of rk so you will get to know about this formula in quite a while right just just wait for some time now just suppose that you have uniform width structure uniform width structure is the thing which we have been doing till now where all the pixels are represented using 8 bits like Right now only I said to you right that 8 can be represented as 1 0 0 0 but what happens we use 8 bits to represent 8 we use 8 bits to represent 7 we use 8 bits to represent every number between 0 to 255 right so that is called uniform width structure or fixed length code equal length code and in general we call it 8 bit length code that is why we call it 8 bit image right because the uh, bits which are used to represent that is fixed cool so now let us try to calculate what is l average in our case so lrk is nothing but number of bits required to represent rk each one requires 8 bits so lrk is going to be 8 so since it is a constant so it will come out of summation so here i have written 8 and then is summation of probability from 0 to 255 so definitely summation of probability is going to be 1 so it's 8 into 1 this is 8 so that is how i calculate l average 
so what happens in coding redundancy is that coding redundancy tries to reduce my l average now how it will occur or what is concern behind it you need not to worry about it as of now when i'll go to huffman coding or when we'll go to numericals you will know the significance of l average right that what does this l average stand for for now just keep in your mind that l average is nothing but the average number of bits required to represent a pixel in an 8-bit image this was what we were expecting only right because in an 8-bit image which is a grayscale image we basically take 8 bits to represent a pixel so if you're taking 8 bits to represent a pixel right and your image size is m cross n so it will be the total number of bits required to represent the image m n into l average so if you have a picture of say 100 cross 100 so it will be 100 into 100 into 8 right so that is something quite obvious m n into l average now the code can be equivalent or of a variable length in the variable length code what thing we are going to have is lrk won't be constant right like here in this image you see here it was constant it was 888 but in this code if you see it's two here one bits here three bits here three bits here then it won't come out of summation cool so this is the example which i gave you in your in my previous video and i said that okay this is the code which we normal convention we have been using till now in whole of the series now, this is how we represent 87 128 186 and 255 and we just know that hey this is uh, not required right if you have just limited amount of intensities you can use the variable length codes like for example if this is having the prob maximum probability i can assign the one to it now this is having the second highest these both i can assign zero one or zero 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 to it so how these codes come we'll know in huffman coding right in which we try to uh, give minimum number of bits to those with the higher probabilities so don't worry that how this code come but as of now just see the convention rk is my intensity levels probability of rk and what is lrk is the nothing but number of bits required to represent my pixel value intensities right so here you can see in the using code one for everything you have eight but using code two so here this was a fixed length code but here we are going to have variable length code so here we have two bits one bit three bit three bit right so it will be more clear through this now for code one we calculated l average before only and it came out to be eight but if we try to calculate it using code two then what will be the l average so you if you just see over here right this will be we just said that it is going to be lrk into probability if you see this formula of l average lrk into probability so this is going to be 2 into 0.25 plus 1 into 0.747 plus 3 into 0.25 plus 3 into 0.03 that's what we have done over here and it came out to be 1.81 bits now did you even see like we jumped from directly from 8 to 1.81 bits means if you have an image of 100, uh, 10 cross 10 so you total bits uh, in code 1 will be 100 into 8 which is 800 but in code 2 it will be 1.81 into 100 which is 181 so here you are transmitting 800 bits and here you are transmitting 181 bits just see the difference right so that is the reason we go for these redundancies we see these redundancies and we try to reduce them but how do we do it you will know in the upcoming video in which i'll be telling about huffman coding so uh, now the compression if you see the formula c is equals to n1 by n2 we do so n1 is now they have considered the images of 256 cross 256 so it is 256 into 256 into 8 divided by now it is 256 into 256 into 1.81 which comes nearly equal to 4.42 and i said that r is nothing but relative redundancy this is 1 minus 1 by c 1 minus 1 by 4.42 this is 0.774 now what is the significance of this r this r tells me the redundant data how now it because it is 0.774 which means 77.4 percent of my data in the original 8 bit 2d intensity array is redundant so that much data was my redundant data right so this is why we go for 
coding redundancy so you can just pause it video and look at this slide and that's all for this video and one thing more i can say is that this is how you basically try to find out the redundancies which occurs right so you just observed over here that 77.4 percent of the data in the original 8-bit 2d intensity array was redundant which now that is a huge amount right so that is the reason we go for these redundancies so here what is written is that coding redundancy is present when the codes assigned to the intensity values do not take full advantage of the probabilities of occurrence so what we did in the previous example was that we took the advantage of the probabilities so we just saw that okay this is the one with the higher probability we gave it the lesser number of bits so that when we are transmitting the image then what is going to happen is that we are going to take lesser amount of data should be transmitted we saw in the example in the numerical which we did in the second video we just saw that more is the data to be transferred more are the number of bits to be transferred then definitely it will take more time which is which is quite obvious right the natural consequence is that for most images certain intensities are more probable than Although this is a for sure thing which we see in everyday life that some intensity values are more probable than the others. A natural binary encoding assigns the same number of bits which is in our case 8 and the least probable values failing to minimize and resulting in coding redundancy. So till now what we were doing is that we were just assigning 8 bits to everything right. So due to which what happened was we weren't able to just get the benefit of the intensity values which were more probable. So definitely every education is all about seeing the patterns and extracting something useful out of it. So we just had a quick glimpse on how the probabilities were there. And as per that, we tried to see that, okay, this is the redundancy which we are going to see. And how we use the probabilities, we'll see in the upcoming videos right so till then have a great time and thank you